Hello and welcome to the OSUIT School of Watchmaking YouTube channel. In this video we're going to outline a project that we're going to be working on with our students which is going to be a pivoted detent escapement. A pivoted detent escapement is a really neat looking escapement that differs from a spring detent. One of our alumni made a spring detent model and has proven very useful to allow our students to be able to see a larger working model of an escapement other than what we normally see in a Swiss lever escapement. As we begin our drawings and our design work, we wanted to follow the look of an American marine chronometer and incorporate some features you might see in a vintage American watch movement. We decided to make a main plate out of a piece of brass that's going to be approximately nine inches in diameter and will be a roughly about one inch thickness. We're going to be working our bridges out of similar shape material, but that's for another video. To do the manufacturing, we're going to be incorporating our manufacturing labs here on OSUIT campus for some of the larger work and for some of the tooling that we don't have here in our, our watchmaking labs. To aid in the design and placement for all the depthing of the wheels and the escapement parts, we decided to outline this project in AutoCAD to begin this design process. Let's check in with Jason Ziegenmein and see what he's working on. By taking our design and putting it into CAD, uh, it gives us a couple of different benefits to just uh, making it by hand, you know, off, uh, off the cuff or, or from, from sketches. You can put the different components in layers, you can look at uh, different thicknesses, you can evaluate clearances, you can really go over all the aspects of what you're doing and ensuring that you're going to have something that works when you're done with it. All the parts are going to fit together properly, everything's clearance and spec'd out properly, and then that makes a very simple uh, guide for you to be able to print out each little component that you need to manufacture. You make it to spec, and then it's going to work with the next one. Be looking for our next video where we're actually going to start the building process, and we're going to actually take our large pieces of brass and actually start cutting out the shapes and, and turning all the diameters and drilling the holes and, and working through this model from, from start to finish. Thanks for viewing.